So hi there and welcome back uh, to our continued discussion of B plus tree aspects in relational database systems. We have talked about B plus tree maintenance in the recent videos and uh, this has related to the core, to the core algorithmic ideas to, uh, of B plus trees, insertion, uh, deletion, redistribution, merging and so on. Uh, Let's spend the next two videos on some additional aspects of B plus trees um, that are related to space savings and to the efficient loading of B plus trees. Both of these issues I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, refer to as the core idea, the core algorithmic idea of B plus trees, but still they have a significant impact on the practical use of B plus trees, and that's what B plus uh, and, and the DB tool course is all about. So I think such a discussion should uh, find its place here and it will not take that much uh, room in the, in the lecture. So let's see, let's talk about space savings first. Of course, we are interested in having a compact representation of the index data structure because it makes for additional heap file pages, it makes for additional IO and uh, that is something we would like to reduce, of course. One thing to look at this in this particular context is the fan out of our B plus trees, the number of pointers that can stick out of such an inner node, node and guide our search into the subtrees of, uh, of a B plus tree. We have termed this fan out uh, also F in our discussion. All right, so um, we will try to maximize f. We will try to maximize f f in the in the following two or three slides, because this will lead to wider trees, more pointers sticking out of a single inner node, and wider trees can s store lots of entries while not being deep, while being rather shallow. All right. So we are aiming for wide trees that are rather shallow instead of more narrow trees that would be then rather deep. All right, so actually uh, the binary search tree with only two pointers sticking out of, our, of our, our, the inner nodes, so F would be two here, is exactly what we are not after in this particular case. We are aiming for wide trees with large F. Uh, deep trees mean lots of IOs while we traverse from the root to the leaf level. That's something we try to avoid. We'd rather have shallow trees with very few IO operations while we are on the search for our keys. All right, so how can we maximize F? How can we uh, increase the fan out in, uh, in a particular given tree? So if we are looking at the innards at these inner trees of the inner nodes, I'm sorry, what we will find there is of course index entries. And if you recall, our index entries are indeed made up of pairs, of key and page pointer pairs. Okay. There is not much we can do actually in reducing the size of this P component of this pair. These are page pointers as they are implemented in the current uh, relational database system that we are looking at. And uh, actually the architecture of the system and the dressing mode of how we identify pages, uh, that determines the width of the page pointers. And there's not much we can actually uh, win there. But if we are looking at the keys, then the, this story might be different. In particular, if the keys are over columns of white data. So if we are talking about text or character col columns and thus text and character keys, then we might see that the width of the keys is indeed much larger, much larger than the width of the page pointers. And uh, so it's advisable to, to focus on the keys anyway. How can we reduce the size of the key? It's probably very difficult to reduce the, uh, the size of an integer uh, key, for example. Uh, these are short anyway. Probably they are shorter as the page pointers. But uh, textual or character column keys can be really wide. It depends on the nature of the data that we've stored in our tables. If we can reduce the width of these keys, of these textual keys, for example, then that could be a real win. It could really have an impact on the overall width on the overall size, <clears throat> I'm sorry about that, 
of the index entries. Smaller index entries means more index entries will fit on a single inner node page. More such uh, entries means, means more pointers sticking out, increasing our fan out, making our trees wider and less deep. One crucial observation at this particular point is that when we guide our search from the true from the root node towards the leaf levels, and uh, in, in, in these two routines, actually, this search is being performed. So of course, it's performed in the search routine, in the search routine that, uh, that we are using to look up entries in RB plus tree, just giving a key K. But it's also used, search is also used in routines like tree insert or tree deletion that try to locate the particular leaf node in which some new entry would have to be placed or in, from which it would be deleted. If you have a closer look at these routines and how they guide our search while we are uh, descending into the tree, then you will see that they are not actually using equality comparison of keys, but they are indeed using such uh, greater than or less than comparisons on the key domain. All right, so we use these to direct the search inside the inner nodes and to identify the correct subtree to descend into. Uh, this opens the possibility to maybe shorten, shorten the long textual or character or string keys as long as we preserve the semantics of this ordering. All right. So if you look at how, uh, of how such comparison operations are indeed uh, defined over uh, domains like string or textual domains, then you will find that they, perf that they perform lexicographic ordering that first looks at the very prefixes at the very first characters of these, uh, of these strings. If a comparison can only be can already be performed by looking only at the first character or maybe the first few characters, then all the characters in this in the suffix of these potential long strings are never inspected at all to decide this relationship. Okay, so this could pave a way to really shorten to truncate to truncate <clears throat> our long string keys to remove bits of their suffix while still retaining the ordering relation. We need to retain it so that our searches are correctly guided. All right, but we might be able to get rid of some of the suffixes. And that's exactly what we will do on the next slide. Please uh, be aware that this is only something that is uh, relating to the index entries in the inner nodes. So we are talking only inner nodes here, not leaf nodes. We will leave the key values on the leaf nodes intact and will not uh, shorten them at all. We will sometimes need the actual comparison, the actual equality comparison of leaf level keys with actual values. And uh, as such, this truncation business does not extend and does not apply to our leaf level pages. So let's remind ourselves again of the inner structure of such an inner node. So that could be one such inner node. All right. And uh, of course, we will find index entries there. This is like uh, this entry here, which consists of a key and a page pointer, a page pointer to pointing to page two in this particular case. All right. We, of course, also have the page pointer P0 here that points to some uh, unidentified subtree one. Okay, so these are the index entries inside our inner nodes. Um, and they are pointing to, of course, subtrees, in this case, only single nodes. But uh, any, any, uh, any uh, the discussion would work just like that with any subtree that you, uh, that you could have down below here. Okay, so the semantics of these, uh, of these inner keys was actually very, very simple. So the semantics of uh, this pointer here, of this pointer, is related to the two keys that are uh, found left and right to this pointer. Okay, so we know that we know that any entry in this subtree, any entry in the subtree, is at least as large as this particular Irish key. Okay, so entries in this subtree are larger or equal to the Irish key. 
and uh, they are smaller. They are smaller than the ironical key. This is what guides our search during the uh, exploration or the, the descent into the B plus tree. All entries here are smaller than the ironical key, all right? And likewise here, all entries in this particular subtree are smaller than the irregular key. Okay, and you can uh, you can um, ensure yourselves that currently everything is in order. Indeed, all the entries here are really less than this irregular key here. All right. So now these would be these strings are actually the source of space savings in our in our uh, plan here. We would like to truncate. We would like to truncate the suffixes of these strings to shorten them so that less bytes are needed to store these keys. Less bytes means more entries will fit in the inner node. But uh, of course, we have to be careful. We don't have to, we, we, we have to preserve the separator semantics. So we can cut characters here. We could cut the R, maybe you could even cut the A here and make that key shorter. But we have to take make sure that the separator semantics are still preserved. This is what's being highlighted here on the bottom of the, of the slide. Okay, so let's see what uh, this could mean for these particular separators here in the uh, in this uh, in the sample inner node. What about the Irish key? Well, we need that Irish key to be larger. We need this Irish key to be larger than any entry found in this particular subtree. Now, in this particular example, nothing is known about the keys um, in subtree one. So uh, nothing what that we can do to the Irish key, nothing that we can do to the Irish key to actually uh, um, make sure that we still meet the B plus tree search tree semantics. Um, if you could have a look inside the entries of subtree one that the story might be different. Uh, but in this particular example, we would have to leave the Irish key alone. Okay, so be it. So what about the ironical key? Okay. Maybe we can shorten it, and by shortening it, I mean by cutting off the L or maybe cutting off the A. Um, we will uh, we will make its lexicographic value, it, the ordering, uh, the lexicographic ordering of this key will be affected. Uh, the key will be will, will will get smaller according to the lexicographic ordering. We can make it smaller, we but we may not make it smaller than the largest key of this particular subtree. Okay, so this is the search tree semantics. All entries in this subtree have to be smaller than the separator. So if we cut stuff from the suffix from the right hand side of this particular key, we have to make sure that it's still larger than any entry in this subtree. Iron Age is the largest entry in this subtree. We may cut stuff from this particular separator, but we not, may not make it smaller than Iron Age. This is actually the, uh, the, the, the condition that we have to fill, fulfill when we cut down the, uh, the suffix. So, and uh, as you can see, we can cut the L, we can cut the A, we can cut the C, and irony, irony will still be larger than iron H, but we may not cut the I here. We may not cut the I, cut the uh, cut the I, because iron is smaller than iron H in lexicographic ordering. So the search tree semantics would be violated. So irony, irony is what we can put here in this uh, slot in this key slot inside the inner node and it will still preserve the uh, search tree semantics because we have uh, reduced the value of the separator uh, during suffix truncation it's still of course uh, uh, trivially um, uh, fulfills the condition that all of the keys here on the right hand side are larger or equal to the key that we have just truncated so that's no problem at all okay so we have uh, truncated uh, this key. Let's see whether we can truncate this key. It's the same. It's the same. Um, 
uh, story going on here. We may cut from the suffix, but we have to make sure that the key remains larger than irreducible. All right, so I think it's clear by now. We can cut the R, we can cut the A, we can cut the L, we can cut the U. We may not cut the G here. We may not cut the G here because uh, cutting G would make us smaller than the largest key in this particular sub key, a uh, subtree larger than irreducible. So irreg is what we are left with. Irreg would be the value of the shortened key. Okay, so for obvious reasons, this uh, technique is called key suffix truncation. All right make the keys smaller and shorter but not too small okay so to preserve separator semantics that might already save some bytes and may even improve fan out in our beat plus trees one other related technique that's uh, actually not looking at the suffixes of our textual string keys but at the prefixes is uh, so-called prefix compression and uh, this is driven by the observation that the keys, the separators keys in the same inner node uh, are often clustered, often related in regarding their key value. Uh, of course, we have an ordered B plus tree. The, the key values in, such the, in these inner nodes are not random. Uh, they are ordered and actually they are related and what we will see that they uh, often share a common prefix. Uh, if that is the case, then we could take advantage of that and actually share, uh, actually store such a common prefix only once in each inner node. All right, so uh, let's look at this particular situation. So indeed, we have string keys here. We have seen this already, these already. And if you look at the prefixes of these strings, then we find IR here, and we find RR here, and we find IR here. This is a common prefix. Okay, storing that multiple times is actually wasting space. So why not store it only once in one particular place in that inner node where we would find space for that? Uh, and one proposal to do that would actually to use the key zero this particular uh, space of the inner node. If you recall, we were s storing this page pointer zero in the inner nodes, pointing to all the entries in subtree one that are even less than Irish, but uh, no key value, no key value was actually associated with this pointer zero. We could now use this formerly unused key value key z uh, K zero Okay, K0, and store the common uh, prefix of all the other keys there. Maybe have some indicator that this is only uh, a prefix, some special, some special key value that is to be interpreted as the prefix of all the other keys. Okay, and uh, well, and then truncate the prefixes from the common prefixes from all the other key values, thereby shortening them. All right. And of course, uh, the routines for tree search, they would have to take the common prefix into account, but that would be a trivial, a trivial uh, implementation fix in our tree search and our tree insert routines. They would take the common prefix into account and guide the search accordingly. So that would be key prefix compression. Of course, this is most uh, uh, effective if indeed all of the keys, all of the keys share the, same, uh, the, the common prefix. You see that uh, there is a one free slot here, one free key and pointer slot in this particular inner node. In this example, we could of course place a new key and its pointer there. But if that particular key would not have the IR prefix, then that would be okay from the viewpoint of the B plus tree, but it was, would destroy our opportunity to to um, to use the common prefix, uh, extract the common prefix, and place it here at the key K, K zero position. So in some cases, it may make sense to benefit from this very efficient key prefix compression, and and 
pay the price of having empty slots in this uh, in these inner nodes if they would destroy the common prefix property. So that's a real trade-off. You can find uh, anti-academic discussions and papers written on the optimization of uh, or the balance between filling nodes to the maximum degree and preserving uh, uh, groups of nodes that have common prefixes. There is some trade-off to be made. There are some interesting op uh, optimizations can be made, but this would lead too far in the context of our DB2 course. All right, so that's it for now uh, on this particular topic on reducing the size of string keys, either using suffix truncation, all right, or by using common prefixes to have prefix compression. Okay, so that's about space savings. Uh, there's one additional topic left that we will cover in one final videos on B plus trees. Uh, I hope you stay tuned for that uh, and uh, see you then. Bye.